Hi, Riz. Happy Thursday. I hope you are all enjoying this wonderful day. Today we are going to be making some fun cards. Um, I am just really into the hedgehogs. I think that paper is super cute. Um, this paper, a uh, paper piece I'm going to show you is, of course, I've cut a bunch of it off, but it has the repeating hedgehogs all over it. It's so adorable. And the back side is this really cute black and white polka dot, which is really fun. So, um, along that kind of idea, um, I'm going to be doing something with the hedgehogs again. So in this, this is a little packet here. So I'm going to do, you always get envelopes with your cards. Um, I'm going to do one card and then we'll go into the other card. So the first card we're going to do that I'm featuring the hedgehogs is with these ones here. So you got the black card base, your layering piece, and then we have the little hedgehog and a couple little other pieces. I love this color palette of black, white, and red together. Um, it's something I've always really enjoyed. Um, so here we go. Um, so you also have this piece of paper here that has all these fun stamped images on it. Yes, those are fairy doors. We also have a snail later with a little snail, a butterfly, the little um, stump, a little gnome guy here. So cute. Some mushrooms make a wish, wish, some stars. And this says, you make me happy, which I thought was so sweet. So um, then you get to kind of have fun and start decorating your little cards here. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my paper cutter right now. I'm going to cut a straight across here. If you don't have a paper cutter, you can use um, a, a ruler and an exacto knife. Um, that is a great way to do that. Or um, another way, which I did for literally years, was to take another straight edge piece of paper, line it up, and use that as a nice guide to give you a nice straight line. But I wanted a nice straight line right along the edge of my um, fairy doors there. So I'm going to go ahead and just cut that real fast. I want that to be kind of nice and straight there. All right. I guess it really doesn't matter because we're going to be remounting it. So, but in case you don't want to remount it. Okay. So, um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to cut up my fairy doors. So, when I did this originally, when I first was playing with this concept, I was like, I just love the idea of the little doors opening up. Oh my gosh, it just made me so happy. And of course, if you are following my train of thought at all, hedgehogs in the fairy doors you guys ah, like screaming on the side okay so um basically when you want your doors to open up you want them to open up and have a hinge and so that's why we have this piece of paper is going to be our base piece okay so the idea here is we're going to cut up right up the middle on each of your doors okay now we're not going all the way to the top here we only went as far up so that now we can go ahead and we're going to cut around the door here now we're not cutting the door off when we get to that little hinge which is that first one right here where you kind of see that little guy kind of come out that's where we're going to be stopping okay and then here we're just going to be cutting in straight to that edge all right and so now we can fold up and it will land on that edge right there okay do you see how we did that and turn it off so we're gonna do the same thing here. We're cutting right here and we're gonna cut right here down to the hinge. All right, and so that's kind of why I wanted it. Um, well, this is always the most awkward one. All right, so I wanted you guys to have a nice straight edge along the bottom here so that when we mount it onto our other piece of paper here, that we have something nice to line it up at the edge to kind of line it up against. So just want to kind of keep that in mind. Okay. So that's why it's important. And then here is where we're going to be putting our other little fun images and things. So where my piece of paper go? Oh, oh my gosh, I got flipped. So then when you do this, you can figure out what little images you want to put on the inside. And I use the same color paper here for your images, the background paper here and for the doors. So then that way you could do a little bit of coloring, water coloring, colored pencils, markers, whatever for your images. But then on the inside here, even if you just do a quick little cut, um, you're not gonna be able to see like, like, wow, I really did not cut that perfectly, you know, because the background paper is the same color. So you can really, you know, kind of cut it out kind of like this. Of course, I'm going to cut it better than this, but you'll see what I'm saying. How when I stick it on there like that, how it just kind of disappears. You can't really see the paper around it. Okay, you see what I'm saying there? All right. So I'm going to do this where I open that up with all three doors here. So I'm just going to go here. I'm going to cut down here. These little doors are great because they've shown you the little hinge. So you know exactly where you need to stop cutting, which I love. I love when they give you nice little guys like that. Okay. And the last little one. 
Now I had left this little top piece here on all of those and that gives me just a nice little kind of space where I can um, apply some glue. I'm gonna apply some glue all up here too, but it's just um, in case you wanted to go through and actually physically cut out your door, you could do that and then that would be the, guy, the edge right here that you would cut that out and then match it on the front of your card. So you can kind of decide. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do it, but um, as you're seeing me put this card together, you might be like, oh, actually I wanna put mine together differently and that sounds great. I love it when people get inspired and go in their own direction with my cards. Um, it just makes me really happy because it means that you got excited and you wanted to make something. And that is what I am all about. I love when people make things. Okay, so now um, you will notice that your fairy doors are going to fit very, very snugly onto that base there. Um, and so I'm actually going to go here. Mm, this is my piece laying all on top that actually is going to cover that up. And actually, we're going to be doing this here because I want to do my red along the top and bottom. And that's going to kind of cover up my little bottom little pieces here. So I think the first thing I'm going to do, I'm always, I always have the concept when I get started with these cards, you guys. But when I build them with you, um, I have to kind of make little adjustments. So, all right. So I'm putting glue just on the bottom half of that. So not on the top half here. So that as I lay this down and match it up against the edge of my white paper there, or my speckled white paper, then I'm just going to take my pieces here and I'm just going to kind of tuck them underneath that little lip. I hope you guys can see what I just did there. Okay. So I tucked the, this right here because this is not glued down all the way. So here's my base. It's not glued down all the way. I tucked this piece in here so that the bottom part of all my little fairy doors is gonna tuck underneath there, okay? And so now I'm gonna use some glue so I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna hold that in place. All right. Okay, so once you have that there and you're happy with where your doors are sitting, you don't have to go all the way down, just enough to get they're stuck in place there. Okay, then I'm gonna glue just the top part of this, all right? Right now, because that's, I left that top part on, okay? So now we have our doors, they're opening. The networking part of little fun things inside, but first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim off my edge here. Make sure your doors are closed so you don't accidentally trim a door off. And I always do this as I'm looking down on it because that's the easiest way, like this looking down on it, to trim your little um, edges. And yes, you may end up trimming off a tiny little bit of one of the edges of the little grass next to the doors, but it's not a door. You're not trimming off a door. All right, and now we're going to put a little bit of this red at the top here, and I'm going to leave a little bit of that white there at the top showing. All right. Very, very cute. Now, before I glue this onto my black card base, I'm gonna use this opportunity to tie my black ribbon around here because I like a little bit of an added embellishment. So I thought the ribbon was perfect for that. Oh, I'm gonna do this a second time there. There we go. I'm gonna if I turn my paper, then it will wanna stay. All right. And once we've tied our ribbon in place there. Oh, so cute. Oh, come on, ribbon. Just go. Then we're going to scoop the ribbon over a little bit because I want it to kind of be on the top on the right hand side. I like that tiny little ribbon. That's really cute. Okay. So now we have this and I need a little bit of glue on my sides here for my right here on the sides here. If you can see that I didn't put any glue there, but I need to now so that my sides will be nice and closed. I'm going to do the same thing on this side here. I don't need very much. Just a small little line will do it. Oh, oh my gosh, it's so precious. All right. And now we're going to glue this whole thing down. Okay. So now this is where we get to add in our fun little hedgehogs and or and or you can add in um, with some of your little guys here. So I wanted to add in the hedgehogs personally um, in my little fairy doors. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I just think these hedgehogs are so cute. I know I did like so much for this card, but you know what? 
I love those little guys. I think those are just so cute. They just go great with the little fairy doors. And I mean, it just kind of all kind of ties in nicely together. So I'm gonna have my little butterfly. So you can put all sorts of fun things in your, actually, I think I'm gonna save the butterfly for later. I think I'm gonna do the, you make me so happy. Even though this is a square piece, because I didn't really glue anything else down, I can literally just tuck this in here and kind of scoot it around until it fits nicely in place there for me. And then I can use a bit of glue to hold that in place. I'm going to turn my edge just a little bit. There we go. Oh, you make me happy. That's cute. Oh, my glue was drying too fast. Stop drying so fast, glue. No. I want this to go in here so bad. Oh my gosh, I'm like totally gonna destroy this card trying to get this in here. This part, showing this in here, this part does not make me very happy. I just want it to go in. I'm gonna rip this whole thing up in order to get this in here. All right, I did it. Even though I did rip that other part up, but it's okay. So I'm gonna re-glue it in. It worked, even though I did get a little bit smeared because I apparently my finger's dirty and I didn't know it. So. <laughs> okay, after all that, even though my little funky door. Oh my gosh. Oh goodness. Oh, I have to do a mushroom on the outside. Okay. So we have our little hedgehog here, Whee! and we have the you make me happy here, even though that was a, quite a bit of a struggle to get in there. You may have more success than I did. I just was really insistent about getting that in there. I may have messed it up just a little bit. Okay, not a problem. I'm going to glue my pieces back in place. Keep on going. Okay, now my last one here, I think I'm going to do a little mushroom. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna do a little mushroom. Of course, you could do like the wish, or you could do something fun in there too. But lots of options. Okay. And on the poor card, because I was just so insistent on getting that one little sentiment in there. You guys are like, I'm not gonna put that sentiment in there. Eh, that's fine. You don't have to do what I did. Okay. Now, if you're gonna go in here and you want to add a little bit of color, I'm gonna just quickly show you um, what colors to use. So I recommend working in the same color palette that we're already working in, which means working in the kind of red and orange-ish kind of tones. Um, if you're gonna add anything, if anything, any other color, maybe a little bit of pink if you were going to do it. Um, and then of course you could add in a little bit of black because that's the other color that we're kind of working in here. Um, and that the reason why is because you can kind of make it look a little bit more cohesive if you kind of stick with the colors um, that are kind of already going on. I would not recommend working in like a green tone right now or a purple um, because those colors aren't really incorporated at all in the rest of the card. And so that's why I always kind of recommend kind of sticking in the tones that you've already kind of got going on. So I'm just going to color my door, doors just a little bit with a little bit of black. You can, of course, do a little bit of watercolor if you wanted, or you can use some markers. Um, yeah, colored pencils are, work great for this kind of thing, so you can kind of go in there and do some more detailed kind of work. I'm going to color the little locks. I thought that's kind of cute. 
a few little hinges, just a couple little things kind of here and there. Not very much. And even though there's ivy right here, I'm not going to color the ivy because um, I just don't really think that that really makes sense um, for my for my color palette here. Okay, all right. And then on the inside, if I wanted to add any color, I'm good on those guys. I'm going to add a little bit of color. I know in morels are normally like brown in color. I got a little bit of brown if you really were insistent on adding some brown in here, but I'm not. I'm just going to add a little red and some orange. Uh, just a little bit of color, but not very much. Oh, so cute. So when you open up, look, look like this, and then you can open up each of your little things and get cute little messages inside. So much fun. Love it. All right. On to the next card.